there. Welcome into the program. This is Low Country Money Talk. We are joined once again by the expert himself. We've got Bill Boyd, who's here from Revolutionary Financial Group, here to help us out with another fantastic, informative episode. Nice to see you. Greg, glad to be here again. Well, there's a lot happening and you know, sure. it just keeps happening. So things keep changing. The, you know, the, the picture here and recent events has really got us questioning all kinds of things, but particularly those related to our finances. Sure. So timely discussion for us here on Low Country Money Talk. Never a dull moment. That is, that is absolutely the truth. <laughs> so the good news for our viewers today is we're going to take this uh, opportunity to talk a little bit about the the main financial threats. Mm -hmm. So when we've got you know all these different conditions brewing, we really want to know what what are the big factors yeah. here causing financial instability. It would be good if we could just have one. That'd be nice. You know? Yeah. But we have like all of this coming at us right away. So you know we're coming out of two years of pandemic and economics and shutdowns and all these job openings and stimulus and all of this stuff. Then we get hit with the European stuff, the Russia, the Ukraine, you know, still we have a supply issue, you know, which is gonna be problematic. And on top of that, it's like, now we wanna get out and start driving around and the cost of gas goes up, you know, $4, maybe even by summer five. Yeah. So it's like, man, when do we get a break, right? Yes, well, Gosh. a so break would be nice, but. Here's, here's some of the things I'm thinking. Okay. So, um, inflation still yeah. a huge problem. It is. Uh, most people have never seen this type of inflation before. It's been like over 40 years, you know, we're right hovering around the 8% mark. Yeah. And the thing is, Jessa, if they can calculate it, inflation the same way they did in the 70s, we would be well in the double digits, you know, with our energy costs and all these things. Because 8%, but if you look at the cost of gasoline is over 100% more, uh, food prices 25% more. If you can find stuff, now you go to the grocery store and some things aren't even available. It is a challenge, you know, I, I need to go to multiple different retailers and online sources to do what used to be a one trip shop. Yeah. And you know, that's just a supply issue. But I've also noticed to your point, my bill is really going up and you know, the Americans all over the, the country are noticing that and we're feeling sure. it. And if you have to drive to different retailers, right? You're gonna have to put more gas in there. Absolutely. And they're gonna have to spend more gas to get those items to the shop where you're going. And that's usually truck related. Last I checked, they run on gasoline. Um, now we're, we're not doing as, the, as much domestic oil here. So we're having to transport oil. You know, I'm, I've been down at the beach here and I can remember uh, years ago, you would hardly see an oil tanker pulling in. And now I'm sitting there, I see tankers going to Savannah Harbor. I never used to see that. Really? You see a lot of cargo ships, but I didn't see many tankers. Now I'm seeing tankers, and you know what those tankers use for, for energy? I'm guessing fuel, gas. Diesel fuel. Diesel, Ooh. So that's gonna cause me even more to transport from the Middle East or Venezuela or wherever it's coming from instead of local. So all right. of that's gonna cost us more. Right. And you know, that really goes back to, uh, you know, talking a little bit about what we're looking at ahead and whether or not we are winding up into a, a recession here, yeah. because we are really having to spend more of our money just to live our daily lives. Yeah. And what kinds of effects does that have on us as consumers? Sure. And then ultimately the, the economic impact yeah. there. Well, you know, I think this summer, you know, we, we will have some time to get in that next segment, but people are gonna travel local, I think, more because of the high cost of gas. The islands should do well, so you should be full, the restaurants, all that's a good thing for the area, but you know, people aren't gonna be traveling overseas, they're gonna stay close to home. Absolutely, so it might alter our plans for the summer. We'll talk a little bit more about that and, and probably a few more things, sure. don't you think, Absolutely. when we come back here on Low Country Money Talk. Stick with us. <laughs> 